This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. According to KHOU.com, an art teacher at Morton Ranch Junior High is facing felony charges after police say she threw a glass bottle at a student's head. Crystal Andrus, 34, is charged with injury to a child. According to court documents, Andrus struck a 13-year-old student in the back of the head with a glass bottle of green tea during third period on October the 4th. Katie, independent school district investigators, say the victim, who is in seventh grade, was talking to some of her classmates at her assigned table when she was hit. The victim said the class had just been outside to take pictures. When they came back into the classroom, some of the students were being unruly, so Andrus had told them to settle down. Shortly after that, Andrus threw the bottle. The victim said after she was hit, her head started bleeding. A district spokesperson said Andrus was put on administrative leave after the incident, and the district was in the process Wednesday of terminating her employment. From San Antonio's KENS5.com, officials say five foreign nationals arrested after breaking into the old Bayer County Courthouse, aren't believed to be dangerous and are cooperating with investigators. Bayer County Judge Nelson Wolf said surveillance videos from inside the courthouse earlier Wednesday shows that men were wearing sombreros and waving around a gavel. He says they appear to be just some guys on a prank. Authorities said the three men climbed up the fire escape and entered the courtroom through an unlocked door on the fourth floor around 1.30 a.m. Two more men were found near a rented recreational vehicle parked outside. The men had told police they were visiting from out of town and were trying to get a better view of the city. Bayer County Sheriff Armando Ortez said the men speak little English but are cooperating with a translator's help. Authorities said the men speak French and have Moroccan passports. Also in the RV were 90-day visas, maps, cell phones, and a computer. Officers had called in bomb-sniffing dogs as well as the FBI and federal immigration agents. Here's a new phone app you haven't heard of yet. Austin officials are considering using a smartphone application that could allow the public to record and report vehicles parked illegally in spots reserved for the disabled. The Austin American Statesman reports the city council will consider a resolution today to link up such an app to city offices. Users could use their phones to snap a photo of the illegal parker and send it into the city. Then officers would be dispatched to ticket the offenders. The newspaper reports one company that has developed such a smartphone application is the Austin-based nonprofit Parking Mobility. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.